Luca, a draw at home against Almere. What's the main feeling then? Uh, slightly disappointed, right? I think like, whoever watched the match, we were very dominant. Like we had many chances. I myself, right? And that's something that you know, it's something that we can especially work on, right? With the finishing, the, the final ball, maybe some decision making. Um, yeah, it's 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 unfortunate, right? I think we we picked up the performance compared to the last game against Tuala, right? We showed we showed the fight, a good attitude, or right? everything that we really what you want on the pitch. Yeah, it just it leaves a sour taste in the mouth, right? Leaving with only one point. Right? Yeah, can imagine taking one step back. Your debut in the starting eleven. When did you hear that you were starting today? Uh, well, I mean, within the within the week, you know, just speaking with the coach right so you know two or three days before the match I already had a good idea in terms of you know how we were going to play tactically uh yeah so i'm happy right i'm happy for the debut of course it's not it's not the result that you want um but but i think for for my first match i've i'm i can say i'm proud of my performance right like without a goal of course it's it's as a striker, it's, it's you're never the happiest, right? But um, I think I, I, as for my first match after you know two two and a half months out, I think I showed some good steps. Right? Yeah, like you mentioned, the tech, tactical reasoning behind you starting. What was the idea today? What was the match plan? Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you compare it to, to you know the last few matches, uh, Engels has been has been playing a striker, but he's not as the typical. He's very different from me. He's very different from from, uh, from Yuz. Uh, so, so we, you know, we kind of played with like him playing off me, me more as maybe a target man, but it was just trying to get him to use his, his, his positives, his dominant side, which is running into space, you know, being creative, playing off me. Uh, no, it's, I think like we did everything that we really should have. Second half wasn't the best start, but we picked it up. I think it's just, I think definitely just working on fitness myself and, and a few other players because if you look at the end of the match we there was certainly space right so so it's something that we have to you know use in the future and and you know just take control of games right? yeah this two striker system is it actually something that you prefer compared to being the one striker uh, up front or depends depends yeah I'm, I'm i'm i think i'm very capable of adjusting right as long as i know what my partner striker is doing or if i'm playing by myself what the wingers what their roles are Essentially, it's just having good communication. It's not a big problem, but I do I do enjoy having somebody that can definitely play off me. Uh, did it work out today? I think it did. I think it did certainly. With and there's those crosses with with Souf, you know, playing on the right today, uh, getting on his right foot and just putting dangerous balls in the box. Right. It's unfortunate I didn't get to capitalize on any of them, but uh, I don't know. I think it's good. Right. And then I think it's going to be interesting. I'm. I'm I think everybody's excited to right to have, to have used back. Uh, me as well, right? It's, it's it's a good competition. I think if we push each other, it's going to be just bring the team to the next level, right? So, yeah. How does it feel to act in the Eredivisie, and how does it compare to the previous competitions in that sense? Uh, I mean, those that watch Czech football and that know it, it's yeah. You have the two, three. You can say good teams: Sparta Prague, Slavia, and then Victoria Pilsen. But uh, it's very. I would say it's more physical, a lot more running, a lot more just 1v1, you know, running around man to man on the pitch. Where here it's it's what I actually want, right? More tactical. It's nicer to play with with players that have a lot better technique, right? Than than than, than some players that I've I've played with in the past. Uh, and it's something that I have to certainly adjust to, um, and just use that right to to, to to my advantage. But no, like it's the other division. You can see how many goals they're being scored. Unfortunately, we didn't get any today. But it's very open, very attacking, right? And it's, 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 it's what you want for a striker, right? Yeah. Again, I think defensively a very good game of you, of you guys. Um, lots of chances created, but I don't feel like the, the real 100% chances. What is there still um, to learn from this match in that sense? And are there any, are there any positives to take? There are positives. Right? Like I said, I think in terms of right, like the attitude, the determination, um, just keep going, right? That, that, that's kind of what we were focused on. And like, Staying, staying positive no matter what what was happening. Like I knew for myself, right? You have the one chance, you have a second. It's it's not getting down, right? Even if it doesn't go in, it's just you know being focused on the next chance, right? And making sure that it, it, when it comes, you take it, right? Uh, defensively, yeah, like we 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 did everything we wanted. They didn't make any big chances, you know. Thankfully, the the, the VAR intervened because if if there was a penalty, it was definitely 
um, I think undeserved considering how, how much better we were and how they weren't very dangerous at all. Um, yeah, I think just in the end, like we'll probably do some self analysis, some team analysis of perhaps just a little bit decision making. Um, you know, when, when to play the right pass or, 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 you know, when to, you know, just take the shot, honestly. So maybe, maybe we should keep it simple. But yeah, there's, there's definitely positives. There's always something to work on. All right, so. You're offside. Did you know straight away that it was? Uh, no, no, but I, I could see, right? As soon as he lifted it up, I knew it was going to be me. And there was nobody else. I didn't expect that, that ball from Mario to come at the time. I think my, my movement prior to that was more to just make space for him. And, you know, I expected him to take a touch. Somehow, you know, he, he, right, the, the ball got, got by his defender. And, you know, I did react first. It's just, you know, it's, that's something I'm definitely going to work on, right, is just being more aware of the situation, more aware of my positioning on the pitch. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but, you know, at least if there's anything, right, Shiloh took his chance, right, so we know we can count on him in the future when that comes. Right? Yeah. Look at conclusively, also your first minutes here in, the, in our stadium. Yeah. What was it like? Nah, I mean, I, I've, I was here for the first few games as well, like PSV and, and against Phil and Fate. Um, nah, like the atmosphere is great. It's, it's nice to have the support. It's nice to have, you know, the whole town, the whole city around the club, right? Whether it's, whether it's completely packed or, or not, right? You can feel it's a good atmosphere always. And it's, uh, it's unfortunate we can, you know, leave, uh, best, leave the fans, you know, leaving the stadium happy, right? But, um, I think there were some positives that they can look at. Of course, you don't you don't leave you don't have three points after a very important game. But I think it's you know I just want to thank them for you know for coming for supporting us. Um, yeah, it just it helps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you very much and yeah, good luck. Thank you.